You know what you're getting me for Christmas yet? A billy goat's in a garden, Papa, grab a pump gun. A muse on striking them chickens won't lay. The muse on striking them chickens won't lay. A billy goat's in the garden, Papa, grab a pump gun. A muse on striking them chickens won't lay. A muse on striking them chickens won't lay. Yeah, ain't many uncles wanna hold you out of school and take you a fishing. The old folks always told me, if a fish gets around water just before Christmas, he'll drown. That's not true, that's not true. Bet, bet, you gonna bet? This old world, you need to get your goods on the right man. Just make sure he's a money man. Oh hell, here it comes. Take Mr. Coley. The sheriff leaves town for a few days. Mr. Coley, he closes the barber shop for a few days. I'm with you. I'm with you. That barber's gonna mess right around. That sheriff's gonna send him toes up. share with you a riddle I writ, wrote. When the sheriff is out of town, the barber can't be found. Both men has pretty wives. They all married, Uncle Pink, married. Is one picture worth a thousand words? Then one little old videotape should be worth 50,000 United States American dollars. Videotape both of them? Mr. Coley and the sheriff? Hell no, not the sheriff. I'm talking about Mr. Coley and the sheriff's wife, idiot. What's Mr. Coley gonna say? What's Mr. Coley gonna say? You see, Mr. Moneybag hides his car up behind the African American church, then goes bye bye with a sheriff's wife. 
I, I ain't taking part in no segregated parties. What I need me is a friend. A real friend. I'm with you. I'm with you. Would you break in the schoolhouse and swipe one of them, one of them video cameras for me? So that's why you brought me a fishing. And I thought he was my friend. Well, that's pretty good, Uncle Friend. It ain't nothing to it. I swiped myself if it wasn't for this trick knee here. There ain't one thing wrong with your knee. Francis Dwayne! We'll blackmail them little birds and split the money. 50-50. Yeah, I know how your 50-50s are. Francis Dwayne, you know how sensitive my feelings are. Videotaping love bars and junk. What's all this mean, Uncle Pink? This is what all this means. I can't smell. I can't smell. I can't smell. Closed. I know what my rights are. I can burn flags if I want to. What you want is to get your lazy self back out that door. I feel that I have been mistreated. Are you a communist? You must be trying to act like Sylvester. What's his name? Mr. Coley, I know what I wanted to ask you. What's your favorite Christmas carrot? Bring it in the sheaves. I don't like us being on bad terms all the time. Do you still refuse to talk to me? Do you know if your mama and them still wants to meet on presidents Christmas Eve?
I think I'll stop eating meat, become a veterinarian. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Don't push it, you and your bragging and all that barbershop gossip. You ain't a dumping me. Just to save a marriage. How many people have you done told about us? Floyd Moore, Randall Purdy, Cled Purdy, Doyle Jr. Doyle Jr.? He'll tell everybody. Forget you. I despise you, you sex maniac, you. I feel like old Samson. Betrayed, heartbroken, and headed for the barber's chair. Who told Ollie Ray Benson you put a piggly wiggly sack over my head? I got more money than you can set on. You're tighter. You're tighter than old barbed wire. There ain't no future with an old Scrooge like you. Scrooge? How about them moon-shaped panties I brung you? Four fifty. I ain't ever felt this way about any woman, unless I was engaged. Engaged. From now to Christmas, I'm only dating guys on the executive level. to you too, Mr. Stingy. Nobody calls me Stingy. He's he me. me. door got locked.
Auto, I'm here to court your sister again. She say, don't come around here no more. Carolyn Nail say, Mr. Bubba Barden promised to take her to the altar. <sighs> Carolyn Nail just trashing off her time. That bubble bar looks like a tramp, a beatnik. Mm -hmm. Mr. Louie, white people's just gone crazy. Mm -hmm. Don't push it, you and your bragging and all that barbershop gossip. You ain't a-dumping me. Just to save a marriage. How many people have you done told about us? You're tighter. You're tighter than old barbed wire. There ain't no future with an old Scrooge like you. send me a videotape and somebody's on it. Mr. Coley, you don't sound so good. Maybe I'll send you over some flakes. Read your phone director and see what happens to people that plays on the telephone. A one and a two and a we saw Coley kissing up sure as Sexy wife and all. Sexy wife? 
Listen at you. Listen at you. You was lusting after her too. My partner here is an expert diamond cutter. He's a diamond cutter? He's a diamond cutter? Hush now, because I don't need a lot of chatter. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel I can trust you. Why don't you shut up? Ah, uh, I know you're just joking with me. You need to drive to Sandy Land's jewelry store tomorrow morning over in Smackover. Sandy Land? I got it. I got it. You're buying us two diamond rings for cash. Cash and carry. I don't want that sheriff or my wife to know about these diamonds now. One's priced at thirty thousand. The other's priced at twenty. Fifty grand? Well, there goes the blueprints to my new barber shop. I'm going to need papers on both of them rings now. If the sheriff finds out about those video tapes, I am not responsible for them. They tell me the sheriff wants to hit a man and the poor boy stayed knocked out for 24 hours. The only free cheese around here is in the trap. The only weapon I'll ever need against you is your cowardly imagination. Just to show everybody that I mean business, I want you to hold your ears until you hear from me again. Not you! Hey! Hey! Am I being watched very closely? Mr. Bell, it's Francis again. You still trying to sell them two old hound dogs? Now, boy, let me do all the talking. Will both of them run a swamp rabbit? 
Well, they were on a rabbit hour, dear. That leech and caught a shot little old shot and pony. Did they hunt up pretty quick or what? Well, they do okay by bagging with a rabbit. But they're bad about going out here and killing these old deer. You mean they can catch deers? Can he catch a deer? Why, you'd have to go to the Little Rock Zoo to even see a deer. Any dogs worth catching can catch deers. I reckon it's just in their blood. Why, son? They caught 20 deer in one morning. 20 deer? 20 deer. They went back that evening and caught 20 more. Did you hear that? Well, you can't tell. One of them might be going to find some puppies. Say you just won. They were raised together, and I wouldn't want to separate them. I'm with you. I'm with you. Could you take a thousand dollars for the pair? No, I couldn't take it, and still guarantee them. You ain't got to guarantee them. I expect years of faithful service. My two rich doctors are buying these dogs for Christmas presents. That's it. That's it. I'll pay. I'll pay $5,000 for the dogs. Make it even six. And I'll throw him a little bald headed dog. A little bald headed dog, did you say? Well, that dog is. That dog is so jealous hearted of me that he chewed up Mr. Kohler's little old Chinese cat. I'll have your money by Christmas Day. Me and Uncle Pink is a black man and a barber. Uncle Pink? Oh, no. He still wearing that little queen hat, cap? Ah, uh, he wears it sometimes if he's a drinking. And him, with a head about the size of that little old boy, Becky Beasley. Ah, uh, he's just an old know-all. When Pink was born, he was so ugly that the nurses had to feed him with a slingshot. Now, Hog, if you ever try to bite me, I'll have sausage for supper. Now, hog, I've whooped a 50-pound hog before. Hog, I'm thinking walk across this pen.
Now, you know he ain't a hold no dog for two rich doctors. Bet, bet, you want to bet? I don't hear no nothing else about those dogs. You're tighter. You're tighter than old barbed wire. There ain't no future with an old Scrooge like you. You got dogs on the brains. Ain't you? I'm buying. I'm buying. Uh, uh. Francis Dwayne, don't throw your money away. Jackie Harcrow, Danny Harrell, and Dallas Fur say it's not no Sandy Claus. You can't catch a channel cat on cold water. I bet poor old Mr. Cole is busy, busy counting up our $50,000. I've been thinking. I can invest half of your money on a big deal I know about. Your money could triple just like a big drove of rabbits. Yeah, you know how rabbits are. Let's sing that Christmas song I wrote about the money. Oh, Sandy's on his sleigh and his heart spells love. Oh, his heart spells love. He's bringing money and it looks so green. His money looks so green. You know it looks so green. Mrs. Dwayne, show us how the snake goes. Hey, hey, you got something to kill this? Hey, hey, you got something to kill this? You're tighter. You're tighter than old barbed wire. There ain't no future with an old Scrooge like you. Let's 
some more the other side of that, just like I always do. So keep your mitts off my phone. I heard you the first time. Now I'm going to lay down. Don't touch one bite of my red hog chili or you'll be headed home for the holidays and no money. Sandy Claus, oh my, Sandy Claus, Sandy Claus, oh my, Sandy Claus. His eyes like stars, his sleigh of gold. Sandy Claus, oh my, Sandy Claus, Sandy Claus, oh my, Sandy Claus. His eyes like stars, his sleigh of gold. And you'll be headed home for the holidays and no money. I'm a guest in this house. He may not always have a young kid to shove all around on. Who are you two trashing now? I ain't ever liked you. Ought to stop a mud hole in you. In you. Well, you know. When can we meet and talk? I decide that. Just like I always do. Now get your lazy self together. Oh. That's what you want me to do. you going to buy with a half of your blackmail money? Oh, some dogs, some shirts, some overalls, and some clothes. Say, did I ever tell you about the time that I got drunk and gave a flat top to the wrong man? some 
coach or something. I don't like them. But I get my hands on our blackmail money. We're going to Guatemala. Guata, Guata? Guatemala? That's right. Guatemala. Where the skirts are short and the living's free. Short skirts? Boy, you ought to take me with you. Mr. Connolly, I wouldn't take you to a dog fight. Well, my wife will be home in a minute. I guess I better fix us some supper. You're probably having snakes. Let me talk to your partner a minute. He ain't here, Chief. Your partner's running the show. I mean, I know you've done your best. I know a lot of stuff on him. And he's just an old know-all. If you was really smart, I could give you this 50000 And you could give me that extra videotape. Yeah. Yeah. Damn them diamonds and my partner. Smart man like you, just catch him while he's asleep and smother him. Yeah, the police can track a bullet, but ain't nobody while can track a smothering. Now here's where we can meet in 30 minutes. No guns, no partners, no nothing.
Hey, don't I know you? I don't know who you know, sir. It's your hair. Have we ever worked on you at my shop? Let's talk about the money, sir. OK, OK. Don't be so gripey about it next time, sir. I dropped my partner down the old well. Sure, sure. And I'm Frosty the Snowman. What's that green thing hanging out of that suitcase? No one ever asked me that before. Mr. Coley, now I know you can't help how ignorant you are. Young man, why must you look at me with such puzzlement? It's all there, and it's all yours. I won't leave till after you counted it. You don't tell me nothing. I might tell you something, Mr. Too High on your haircuts. I wouldn't buy you to count the money now, sir. Do you still refuse to talk to me? Are you still coming over to our house and opening presents tomorrow night?
Uncle Pete, you're acting worse than a two-year-old. You need to think you're getting off scotch-free. when you treat people bad. No money. No Guatemala. I could spit him like a top. I could saw his nose off. You and your group can open your own blame present. 